What's up guys, Marvin Vernon Kid here back again, still staying old school for the time being. Uh, no no background, no no green screen, taking it back to my roots, baby. Um, and this is going on all my channels. I'm going to be doing this once again to this, to now, all the way to the end of uh, September. I might do it all the way to October. I just want to let people know I haven't forgotten my roots and everything like that, especially all my subscribers, my pack. Your boy has not forgotten his roots. Um, no matter how many subscribers I keep getting, um, I just want to say thank you. Um, so today, guys, we're going to check out a video once again from uh, Blinky, Blinky Fan Films um, that I have found a really, I think, I have a really pretty good rapport with them. Um, you know, Chris Nottarelli, all of them, and Blinky you know, 5,500, you know, I, I have reacted to a couple of their, their fan films, and I love them, um, my favorite one as of right now that I've reacted to was the, the, uh, the Domino, uh, and I actually, the, the female, the actress who played Domino in, uh, she commented on the video, and she loved it, and I loved her interpretation of Domino, and I think one of the coolest things was, you know the typhoid mary part too that just i was like why have they never interacted in the comics um so, um so with that being said i've always kind of told them that if anything new comes out i'll i'll react to them you know and you know i was going to stop but then you know basically they kind of encouraged me to keep going and i appreciate that i'm not trying to you know like say oh this is mine you know i'm i'm me reacting to it is, you know, to people who are not familiar with the channel, gets them notoriety. So, and that's, it's like equivalent exchange. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so there will be a link in the description down below for their channel uh, to subscribe to them. This time, there, uh, we're looking at the Eradicator, Absolute Authority. Um, and, I mean, you can, you can see I'm kind of wearing a... Uh, Superman, but this is a Superboy shirt. Um, Connor Kent, um, House of L. Boom. Uh, you guys remember the death of Superman? There were four different, four Supermen that were taking over to steal the Eradicators. One of them, uh, Superboy and um, Cyborg Superman. I believe, yeah. Uh, so we're going to check this out. Um, I'm looking forward to this as well. Here we go. Enjoy. Now. Every day that goes by, I still for the life of me can't understand why that man who murdered my son is allowed to go free. I just know that if you were still here, you would have done something. I don't know what. <laughs> you might have been able to save his life. You meant everything to this world. And we need you now more than ever. I don't want to believe that you are truly gone. I don't want to live in a world without hope. Please. That's touching base real quick please. now, definitely. You can hear my prayer. That's hitting home us. real quick. I Make don't want to live in a world right without hope either. I can tell you that right now. What you do to that woman? You don't. 
Don't tell me you killed her. So Lawrence, you made it out. With your balls intact. Cheers. 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 How's it feel to be a free man? Feels good. Costume looked good. Uh, from the wife yet at all? No. Bitch filed for divorce the second it hit the news. Fuck her. Right? I'll drink to that. You know, it's not like you did anything wrong. You were just, you were just doing your job. Simple as that. But that's what I told her. And someone had to leak the body cam footage. You know what it is yet? No. Not yet. But when I find out, Ooh! they'll get what's coming to them. God damn, man, I heard that. We'll find it, man. Don't worry. I know. You know, I just, I just hate rats, man. They give this badge a bad name. Preaching to the choir, guys. Preaching to the choir. You know, I say it all the time. If people would just follow the law and do exactly as they're told, there'd be no problems. See, that's the thing. People don't know what it's like to be there in that moment when you have to make that tough choice. Yeah, yeah it's easy to sit there and watch body cam footage and pass judgment, but that's after the fact. Yeah. Oh boy, hey, yeah. Yeah. ooh, Somebody this is hitting out. home real quick. I ain't taking no chances. Perps always gotta escalate. Always. And that's why they get shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think, oh, see, okay, all right. This, yeah, wow, this is, yeah. so I get, okay, these are three cops that probably shot somebody, probably shot that woman's kid, got off of it, all right. Bitch. Must be a blackout. Do you think? You hear that? Yeah. Where's, where's it coming from? It's coming from outside. What? Check the window. What do you oh, mean? Oh, they about check to get the x-rayed. Just open the blinds and check the window. Alright, fine. Yeah, you're dead. Jesus! Jesus Christ. What the fuck is he doing here? <laughs> it just broke the damn thing. I'm looking for Lawrence Carter. Yeah? What do you want? I am here to see that justice is served. What are you talking about? You shot and killed an innocent child. Uh -oh. He was unarmed, and you still gunned him down. Look, man, that shit's already settled with. I didn't do anything wrong. I beg to differ. Look, I did what I had to do, okay? Yeah, it was a mistake, but that's part of my job. When you put on that badge, you swore to protect the innocent. That's right, I do. You broke your oath, Lawrence. Now it's time to face the consequences. Hey, man, he's a good cop. So if you got a problem with him, hey, you put a gun. You. Dude, what are you doing? He's Superman. Exactly, you stupid. He thinks he's Superman. He's just another one of those imposters. Put your weapon down. I will not ask again. Oh, yeah. You're about to rip this dude's oh, arm off or something? Ah. Ah. Oh, he just broke it. Ah. Ah. Hey, man, put him down. Oh, <laughs> oh God. I did. I, yeah, I mean... Eradicator's gonna do some sh like that, you know that. In this world, there is law and there is justice, but they are not the same. They are a balance, and when the scales are tipped, order must be restored. What are you gonna do? Why, why are you running? I am that order. Oh. Murdered innocent child, Lawrence, oh. and no law should protect you from such a crime. Oh. Oh. Uh, somebody better help him or he's, he's, he's about to get killed. Oh, he's cooking him. He's cooked. Oh my god, he cooked him. He's cooked. serve as a lesson. Do you understand? Yes, I understand, yes. Good. Then go and tell everyone, beware the wrath of Superman. Kevin 
Ten calipers. The Eradicator, okay. Stop right there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, we're gonna stop right there. Um, that first and foremost, I applaud the everybody who worked on this. Um, this one definitely. This this one touches base, touches home. Very very closely. I don't care what anybody says. Um, this one really. I mean, look at me. What do I? What? What are we going through right now? We've been going through this for a long time, and there are a lot of people that don't understand why we're taking the knees and why we're doing all this and what. Yeah. This one. This. This. Uh, I want to give a shout out to uh, Mr. C uh, Caliber, um, who played the Eradicator. Uh, he 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 felt menacing. Like when he was talking, it was like, okay, yeah, like either shut up or get dropped. Um, the other thing I wanted the grieving mother. Uh, those words she said. I don't want to live in a world without. If you are like me, those words, you can understand how true those words are when you hear someone says that. Like, I too do not want to live in a world without hope. I don't want to live in a world of fear. I don't want to live in a world of just brutality. I don't want to live in a world of non-understanding of oneself and others. I don't want to live in a world where I'm judged or looked at as being just cannon fodder to someone who believes they're a higher authority or because they are a different race than me. I don't look at the world that way. I don't look at myself. That I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't think I'm better than anybody. I don't look at myself as being better. I don't look at any. I don't look at myself being above anybody. No matter the race, this right here, I didn't think they were gonna go there. I, I'm like, I read the, the title and I'm like, okay, they're just gonna show maybe Eradicate. Just he's a different breed. He's nothing like Superman. You know, Superman would not do that. You know, he would not go to a cop's uh, apartment or house and then basically kill him. You know, pay you. You gotta pay now for what you did. You know, Superman wouldn't do that. And that was something that I will say I kind of enjoyed about when they they did this experiment with, you know, the death of Superman, introducing all these different versions of Superman or Supermen and you discovering who's your favorite, who's your not favorite. The Eradicator was not my favorite. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I ain't going to sit there and lie to you. But my favorite was out of all of them, Steel was my favorite. Um... I wasn't a fan of the Superboy that they had there, the cocky one. I'm a fan of Connor Kent, the clone of Superman and Lex Luthor. That's my favorite Superboy. But um, yeah, uh, this was still good, very good, well, very well written. It. I'm not just saying that. Oh, you don't get it. If you, if you're you're non-black, you're not gonna get it. You're not gonna understand. No, you'll get it. This was this. Once I, I understood what was going on, I'm like, ooh, okay. And then you're hearing those three guys talking, I got it, real quick. Um, so respects to everybody who worked on this. Um, I hope everybody who worked on this understands the meaning and the, the, the meaning as well as the effects of what they put out in this, this, uh, this fanfic. Um, and understand what it meant to someone who looks like me because I got it I understand it very well so much love and respect to all you who worked on this um, with that being said I'm gonna 
sign off. Uh, thank you for watching. Link in the description down below for uh, Blinky 500's channel and everything like that. Go subscribe. Trust me, they do good work over there, especially their, their fan films. There's some fan films that are not over there because they're too, a little bit more on the adult content, so they have to put them on another channel. Trust me, yeah, it gets there. Uh, but this was really good. I know they got, they're in works of putting out a Wonder Woman one. I told them already, I will react to that once that come out. Um, so if they want to, you know, get in contact with me, um, you can go to my channel and you see where you can contact my emails right there. You can email me and everything like that. Uh, but other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Peace, when love, stay tuned, keep it real. As always, please be safe right now. Um, we're still going through this pandemic and you know it's not getting easier but please be safe i tell that to everybody be safe um and um as uh dre says well a youtuber known as dre you know uh spread more love in the world because there's too much hate you know as always spread more love because there's too much hate in this world uh we need that right now and uh, other than that, deuces.